Hello and welcome. Today's video is about how to create beautiful uh, graphic using Canva. In my previous video, I showed you how to create a graphic easily for total beginners or those people who feel that technology is not their thing. Okay, so today we will look at how to create this type of post uh, when you use your own uh, photo when you put some um, additional elements and um, so how to create easily as well if you want to put your logo um, so if you are not uh, familiar with Canva it's very easy to it has two options free one that you can use and paid one I prefer paid one because it gives more opportunities and makes the work really really easy also if you have an iPhone you may want to check an iPhone app canvas iPhone app uh, which is apparently brilliant I don't have an iPhone that's why I haven't tried it yet but if you have an iPhone do uh, give it a look so um, I usually choose Instagram post as my normal post because it is suitable for Facebook so I can use it both for Instagram and for Facebook and this allows me to save time so um, previously I was uh, telling you how to use ready-made templates but today we are going with to have our own graphic and in order to have our own graphic, you can cl click upload your own images and then you choose anything you want. So let's say, just for the sake of doing it. So and then it, it's uploading. You need to watch this one. So when it's fully uploaded, it will show you. Because if you start using picture right now, it will be uh, unfinished so and you may get into troubles to save so you need to watch when it's filled in so I was using this graphic and you can see that it's it's smaller than original so you can just straight it and stretch it so when you download this graphic is from pixabay.com so when you download, make sure that you download the bigger picture, which allows you to stretch it without losing um, any quality of the picture. So I filled in the square for Instagram and then um, I need to put some wording. And with the wording, we choose an option text and I have prepared uh, it already here. So I just copy and paste. Uh, this is a quote from uh, Miracles Now, Gabby Bernstein, and I really like it. So here, it doesn't matter which one you choose, you click uh, copy-paste, and by default it will give you a black uh, font color. So all your panel is here. To, to change color, you you click on the color button and you put it in white because it's more visible and then um, I use you can see and you can try there are different fonts but because I have I'm creating a series of this particular quote from miracles now I'm using particular um, I'm using a particular font so shadows into life so um, we use also bigger fonts and I want to stretch it so you can see that it needs a little bit of stretching I want to have it 42 but I want to have on on the same line so what you can do when you want to squeeze you choose text spacing and then you just move this around okay so and you can see okay 
So uh, in, in, in principle you can let it go as it is, but because it has some dotty lines like stars and it may, uh, so the, the, the writing is blending in, I want to make it more prominent. So we click on elements and you can, you know, study them, whatever they do, but we will go with shapes. And I use shapes to create like a background for writing so that you can uh, highlight the writing that it stands out a little bit better. Okay, obviously, the black, uh, the gray one is not good in our case and there is no color that I like in particular so you click on the plus sign and now you can navigate and you can choose wherever whichever tone you like so and in this case it's not that important which one we choose because I want it to make a little bit different so it's you make it transparent so it doesn't stand out of the picture as such but you want to make a writing so make sure uh, that you arrange the writing so it says arrange and um, and you want the writing come forward that's why you put um, the background in the back and you can see now the writing stands out and it's easier to read remember it, it's going to be on on social media posts when you know people scroll out quite um, fast so you want them to notice so and then I want to because on, on miracles now there is a hashtag that it's used and I want to do um, justice to the book, so I'm uh, making sure that people know that it's from that book. So what we do, we click on text, we can add text. Okay, I put miracles now. We need to choose the white one, and I also choose the same font. Where is it? So, shadows. So, okay. And obviously, I want it bigger. So, this is how you put it here. Right? Different text. And you can put, you know, uh, more if you want. But what I wanted to do, I wanted to highlight the picture as well so picture goes well with the quote uh, hashtag so hashtag is not uh, crucial but this is a particular case why I'm using hashtag so now um, if you have your uh, logo you can use your logo or you can put just the name of your Facebook page or your uh, website so I have my logo here and it's important, it's important that you use uh, with the transparent background, then you can put it the way you want. So it will go to any surface, not just white. So, okay. And that's about it. You're good to go now, but I just wanted to show you different options. When you put stars so you can type any of the elements here and everything that is free is free so what I want to do I want to add just a little bit more of um, starry signs and I change the color to, to lighter so. And then what you can do, you can make it smaller so it doesn't stand out. And when you click copy, 
it copies exactly the same and then you can move around and bring some elements and then here and so on. So you can do more, you can do less, it just and you can put anything that you want and just to see whether um, they have it or not. And here you go. So I let go and allow the universe to do her thing. And it's from the book Miracles Now. So this is the way how you can create. And again, so you give it a title. Miracles Now Universe. So it's easy. This title goes as a file name. Make sure that it says uh, all changes saved. And then you click download button and you choose if you go with social media you choose png and if you go for a web you choose a web option it will be jpeg also don't you share because it will share link to your canva account with credits to canva which is nothing wrong it's great way to acknowledge but for your purposes, especially on Facebook, you want to upload, download first and then you upload. So hope you find it useful and please come and visit my Facebook page and post your graphics that you created or if you have any questions, please let me know. I also would like to invite you to take opportunity and um, sign up for my offer, which is visual packages for your social media platforms done for you. And uh, this the difference between what I've just showed you, because you can do it yourself. Everyone can do it themselves. But what I'm offering, I'm offering the context view. So basically what you can create in order to bring people to your email list, to uh, share your graphics and also give you this um, opportunity to create your story, uh, to create your mark on social media. So it's not just about creating pictures. As you saw, you are capable of creating pictures yourself. I will show you different tips and tricks as well, but I will show you how you can create your original uh, presence on social media, which is a little bit more than creating pictures. So hope to see you soon and join me um, on Social Media Mindset Coach. You can post your pictures and also check the offer bit.ly forward slash 147. Have a lovely day and talk to you soon. Bye.